Hey there, Drew Watch here, creator of Domain to Profit, where we look through expired domain names, finding the amazing domain names that are out there for you to develop and create the life, make your dreams come true. Well, in this video, we are going to spend some time looking through this here, expireddomains.net. I'm gonna show you how to set up the filters that we use each week, Monday at 3 p.m. on Domain to Profit, and we are going to take hundreds of thousands of domain names that are expiring each week and bring them down to a lot less. <laughs> and you'll be able to follow along with the exact domain names that we use each Monday at 3 p.m. When you go to expireddomains.net, it's gonna look like this. And you're gonna to have to go all the way up here to set up a new account. It is a free account, so you should absolutely do it. Once you set up the free account, you will be able to come along and then change things up to this here, the dark background site. So when you're on expired domains, go over to the marketplace domains, and then you will go to domain GoDaddy expired domains. So you'll see right here that there are 390,000 domain names that are expiring just right now over the course of this next week. And that's a lot of domain names. For the sake of a live show, we're certainly not going to get through that many but what we wanna do is get rid of as many domains as we know are not going to be quality domains that we want to develop. So we go over here to the show filters and we wanna get rid of, we wanna say no numbers. We wanna say no hyphens. And then we want to come to this section behind me here. So let me zoom in. We wanna to go to this dictionary word section here. We wanna say English one, to three words, one to three words, English. Feel free to play with this in your own time if you if English is not your primary language or if you even wanna look at four words, sometimes you could find good stuff there, but for the sake of really narrowing things down, most domains we look at are gonna be one or two words, but occasionally three. And for the sake of a live show, we get rid of all the fours. So one to three words, English are what we primarily look at. So over here on the backside of me, we're going to, we're backside, we're going to weed this down to just seven days of data. But for the sake of a weekly show, we don't need to look past seven days. Feel free to add on if you want to, uh, but next week, we'll just look at the next seven days. Then we will go over to this additional tab that you'll see over there. Here, there's only one box we need to check, and that is the .com. We only wanna look at this GTLDs, that's referring to generic top level domains. .com is the primary one. It's really the only one we ever look at. Uh, very rare occasions do we ever think about any other domain than that. Why? Because .coms give us the validation and the authority necessary to launch a new domain development project as if we're experts right off the bat. So there you go, we set up, got rid of numbers, got rid of hyphens. We added one to three English words, limited it to seven days and made sure that we're only seeing .coms. So we will scroll down, apply those filters and you'll see for the sake of this week, it took us from 390,000 down to 84,000, which of those 84,000, we're only gonna look at about 600 each week. So there you go. The final step would be we, we order things by the valuation. So if you truly wanna follow along with exactly what we're showing on Domain to Profit, you're gonna to wanna to order by this valuation here. And as I say each week, valuation is a number that GoDaddy applies to a domain name. It's complete estimation based on past history and some other data that they have. And you don't wanna use that number for the sake of assigning a purchase price, but what it does allow us to do is get the best domain names at the top of the list when we order buy it. And you'll see here in this week, uh, thousands of dollars right there on top. Well, that's it. That's setting up the filters for Domain to Profits live domain expireddomains.net uh, search. So special thanks to expireddomains.net. It's a free service that we always use. Uh, certainly check it out, and I hope to see you each week, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, while we filter out the hundreds of thousands of domain names looking for expired domains 
to get you a domain name that can change your life. I'm Drew Walsh. See you Monday.